Hey, everybody, this is Yuri from Sure. I'm currently in the kitchen getting myself some coffee and talking to you using our new GLXD Plus dual band wireless system. Now, some of you might be uh, familiar with our GLXD system from before and are wondering what's new. What is the plus in GLXD Plus? So let's take a look. If you're already acquainted with GLXD, the GLXD Plus system should look very familiar. The receivers come in the same three form factors. You have our tabletop receiver, our famous guitar pedal receiver with built-in tuner, and our half rack receiver with removable antennas. Additionally, you have the same rechargeability options as before. A standalone sled charger using either of the transmitters or using the half rack or tabletop receiver. Just like before, new transmitters will link with new receivers right out of the box. If the transmitter has been previously linked to a different receiver, you'll see a slowly flashing green light. To create a new link, simply hold the link button down on the transmitter until that slow flashing green light becomes a fast flashing light, and then do the same thing on the receiver. And voila! And you can link multiple transmitters to the same receiver, so that if you're switching instruments in the middle of a show, you can be confident that your receiver remembers the gain for each of the transmitters that is linked to it. If you ever forget which transmitter is linked to which receiver, all you have to do is quickly press the link button to identify it. Cool, so what's new? What's the plus in GLXD Plus? Well, the biggest change is that it is now a dual band system, which will operate in 2.4 gigahertz or 5.8 gigahertz. This more than doubles the available bandwidth, increasing the ability to find good, clean frequencies in any environment. Like its predecessor, GLXD Plus will automatically hop to a backup frequency whenever it encounters interference. And with the new expanded bandwidth, the system is more reliable than ever. Looking at the hardware, we have a brand new, slightly larger battery. And now everything is connected using USB-C. A full charge will give your transmitter about 12 hours using a 5.8 GHz frequency band. But if you forgot to charge, don't worry. Charging our battery using a standalone charger or the receiver bay for 15 minutes gives you an hour and a half of transmitter runtime. And finally, you might see some changes to our guitar pedal receiver. Let's take a look. Musicians, rejoice. We have added a quarter inch analog input to our guitar pedal receiver. So now for any situation where you might want to choose to skip the transmitter, you can run your guitar or bass or whatever directly into the receiver. You may also notice that there is no longer a power switch on the pedal GLX D6 Plus receiver. To protect your ears, the receiver will only power on if it's plugged in and has something plugged in through either the input or the output, or if it's plugged into power and is also connected via USB-C. And there is all the plus in GLXD Plus. With dual band, it is more reliable than ever. With brand new batteries and USB-C charging, it is more flexible than ever. And our GLXD6 Plus receiver has some cool new connectivity up its sleeve. And of course, if you're using a handheld transmitter, you can still choose from three of our legendary mics. The SM58, the Beta 87A, or this Beta 58A that I'm speaking into right now. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you next time.